I'm glad having Oliver V here at my side as he is the director car development of AMG. Hello. First question um, regarding the name of the all new C63. There has been like a switch in the name. You now call it Mercedes AMG C63, but before that it was Mercedes Benz C63 AMG. So, how come? Um, Mercedes AMG is um, the performance brand of Mercedes Benz. So, we confess 100% to Mercedes Benz. But on the other side, we are self confident enough to, to boost. Um, the, uh, the label AMG in the world, and that's the reason why we call it Mercedes AMG right now. The C63 label has remained, although you downsized the engine from 6.2 liters to 4 liters. Why did you do that? Well, um, it's right that the, C, um, the 63 has a tradition of the natural aspirated engine, which has a displacement of 6,300 uh, cubic centimeter. Um, Downsizing the engines and rising uh, the power output um, gave us um, kind of a conflict in the, in the um, uh, how we spell the car. Um, and we choose that um, we keep um, the figures. Um, and uh, right now the, the figures are kind of a symbol of, um, of a power rate. So actually this the 63 right now is a symbol for around 500 horsepower, which the car obviously has. So the engine in the all-new C63, AMG C63, is quite similar to the engine of the AMG GT. Right. And I wonder how is that? Because, you know, in the AMG GT you have this hot V, meaning the turbochargers are like in the inside of the engine and not on top of it or at the sides. And you kind of, you know, you put in the same complex structure in the C-Class as well. And I wonder how, why you did that. Well, the design of this engine to put the turbochargers into the V and, and away from the outside gives us uh, huge advantages in designing um, other parts, like for example the engine mounts. So in this car uh, specifically, there's um, we have um, active engine mounts, which is unique in such a segment of cars. Uh, this is one reason. The other reason is that uh, we have um, huge um, advantages uh, regarding fuel consumption. So the car right now has a fuel consumption of 8.2 liters and um, related to the predecessor which had um, uh, 12 liters this is more than 30 uh, percent um, less than this so this is um, this is the second advantage and a third one is that um, with this construction we have in, in the engine we have the same response behavior than on a natural aspirated engine so they are just advantages Okay, I see. And you were just talking about um, the predecessor. And what I wonder about is, you know, that the predecessor was very successful. You mm -hmm. sold more than 40,000 units right. of it. And um, wasn't it quite a big challenge developing the new C63? Well, um, we had a goal um, with developing this car. And uh, the goal was um, to take all the characteristics of the old, um, of the uh, former um, C63 on the one side, but to improve all habits of this. So um, right now in this car we have, for example, an uh, electronic adjustable um, suspension. We have um, electronic um, uh, locking differential inside. Um, so the, the range between comfort on the one side and maximum sportiveness on the other side uh, is, is improved. You have just mentioned it, uh, sportiveness. And I think, I assume that you have driven the new 63 quite a lot. So from your point of view, view what is like, you know, the nicest thing that potential customers can expect from the C63? Well, we, um, we have installed in this car a switch where you can modify uh, four driving modes. And this is, this is beginning from comfort to sport, sport class, and we have a race mode. And in these modes, we modify not only the transmission and the engine software, but also the suspension, the ESP, and the exhaust system. So we have in the exhaust system, we have um, uh, three flaps, and uh, so we can modify the sound as well.
you are starting into the market with the AMG 63 sedan and station wagon. When can we finally meet the coupe? Well, today we are lucky to, to launch our uh, saloon and sedan car. But as you know, uh, coupes have a long tradition um, at Mercedes AMG. Um, but uh, let us some surprises for the future. <laughs> okay, I understand. Thank you very much so far. Thank you.